This video is an infomercial recipe on how to make good and tasty chunky avocado guacamole. Because I love tacos, which can be an unhealthy dish to eat, I decided to find a way to get some nutritional benefits while enjoying my tacos. So for red onions, you'll need about a quarter of a cup, but only you can determine how much you want in your guacamole sauce. Red onions are tangy and sweet, and when eaten raw, they provide a good crunch. That's the same thing for this bell pepper. They're not spicy, they just have a little tartness to them, and they provide a perfect crunch for this chunky guacamole. Now for this recipe, I'm using Haas avocado. There are many, many variations of avocado to use for this recipe, but I normally pick these up from my local grocery store, and they ripen very quickly. You don't want your avocados to be too ripe because you're going to need to slice into them and you don't want the avocados to be mushy. Now don't pay attention to how I'm taking the avocado seeds out of the avocado. That's just the way I do it because for some reason I don't like to destroy seeds. Now to remove the avocado meat from the skin you want to slice it sort of in a checkerboard shape so that you get that square cut of meat that you'll need. And by meat, I mean the avocado inside, not actual meat. Now make sure that when you do this part, you move fairly quickly, because just like apples and potatoes, they will start to react to the oxygen in the room and turn brown while you work. This recipe will make about five servings, depending on what you use it for. One way to help prevent the oxidation of the avocado is to add a little acidity to it. And for my acidity, I'm going to add one half of a lemon and one half of a lime. It also provides a really tart and tangy taste to the avocado. But don't worry, I'm going to balance that off just a little bit with about a quarter of a teaspoon of sugar. White sugar is fine. All natural sugar is better. Now I do want to say that this chunky guacamole dish is best with fresh ingredients. But if you don't have any fresh ingredients, you can substitute with some lemon juice and some lime juice. Not the artificial stuff. Make sure that the lemon juice is actual lemon juice. And the same thing goes for the lime. But fresh ingredients are better. Lemon and lime provide some tartness and acidity to help blend all the flavors together. I added just a wee bit of sugar to give it a round, full taste. Bitter and sweet, remember? So once you have your acids all mixed in to the guacamole, like the lemon and the lime, go ahead and give that a good stir so that you can help slow down the oxidative process. Next, I'm adding about a quarter of a cup of tomatoes. Again, this serves about five people. I'm adding the tomatoes because tomatoes go good and everything raw. So this. I know, I know what you're thinking. Hot sauce and guacamole? Yeah, it tastes good. It gives it that bite of flavor that's missing from the regular guacamole that you get. Of course we're going to add our black pepper. Add as much as you like. I'm thinking about half a teaspoon. The other thing I'm adding is a garlic sea salt. I'm using the garlic sea salt grinder to get bigger pieces of the salt. Again, fresh garlic is better if you like garlic. So once you have all of the spices added to the guacamole, of course, along with the lemon and lime and the sugar, make sure you give this a good stir. You want to make sure that you coat all of the avocados in the sauce that you just created using the lemon and lime. Once that is done, go ahead and add your fresh onion, your fresh tomatoes, and your chunky green peppers. Give that another good stir. Blend it all together. I would say cover it with a plastic cap, yes they actually sell plastic caps for these bowls, or your Tupperware top. Put it in the refrigerator, let it sit for probably no less than 15 minutes. Let all of those 
ingredients mesh together so that they can blend and give you the perfect taste. I'm sure there are many, many, many other ingredients that you can add to guacamole because avocados really don't have their own flavor. They're kind of like a binder ingredient, but I guarantee you this chunky avocado dip will be a winner. And this is another great way to incorporate good ingredients into a bad dish because I am a sucker for tacos. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate it. If you have any other questions, any other recipes that you would like to share with me, make sure you leave your comments down in the comment section below. I'll talk to you later. Thank you for tuning in. Bye.